Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. I'm Eric, thank you so much for joining me. So um, yeah, I'm bringing you guys your Twin Flame messages for this week. <clears throat> this is the week of February 26th through to March 4th. Guys, we are almost out of winter in America. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited. The spring equinox is coming, guys. We're almost there. We're almost there. Just keep swimming. Yeah, nine of nine of wands. Just keep swimming. <laughs> anyway, um, as usual, I am available on Instant Go, and I am available for private readings. All of that information is down in the description box below. Um, yeah, private readings have been going really well. I'm very grateful to be able to do those things for you guys. I really like, I really enjoy connecting with people in this way and being able to help and guide them and help them bring, uh, uh, get clarity and all that stuff. So if you have any sort of desire to reach out for a private reading, I highly suggest you do so. I would love to speak with you and have a conversation. Um, also, I want to give a big thank you to those of you who have donated to my channel and also those of you who have been just subscribing and liking and leaving all the awesome comments. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, I love you guys. Um, I'm so happy to be able to be in this uh, mode of service for you all. Um, and so, yeah. So without further ado, let's just get to it, shall we? All right, Divine Masculine, you are first, yes? Let's get into this. This Now, understand, guys, that this is a general reading, first and foremost. So please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Second, I'm being called to encourage any Divine Masculines that are watching this video. I do know that most of the viewers on these channels um, and in this community are the Divine Feminine. But um, there are a few Divine Masculines floating around in there. And if any of you are watching this, I please, I encourage you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to please reach out, you know, um, let us know how this resonates with you. Um, we really love to hear, we really love to hear from you. I, I've been looking for input from masculine energies for a long time, just because I want to understand it from their situation, from their point of view. I, I mean, there are a lot of readers out there. There are a lot of divine feminine energies out there that are reading on behalf of the divine masculine collective, and they're doing a great job. You know, the messages are getting crossed. We're getting it across. We're getting a good understanding, but there's nothing like hearing it straight from the horse's mouth, right? So um, I am being encouraged to encourage you divine masculines, gentlemen and ladies, to please reach out if you feel inclined to do so, yeah? Also, this is a message um, for this week, but understand that these messages are timeless. Um, they don't necessarily apply to just this time frame that they are being uh, brought forward in, okay? Just keep that in mind. All right, Divine Masculine, what's going on? Best messages for the Divine Masculine Collective for this week. February 26th to March 4th. Again, we're almost at spring, guys. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. All right, two more shuffles for the Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine. Best messages for the Divine Masculine. Spirit, please let me a clear channel for the Divine Masculine Collective. Okay, I said two more shuffles. I think it's a third. I just want to keep shuffling. Up the Divine Masculine. Best messages from spirit for the divine masculine. Okay, one more. There we go. Divine masculine. All right, divine masculine. Your messages this time around. Oof, 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 oof. Okay. Uh, first, to start off, you have overall energy of the nine of swords. Yeah, it seems that the masculine, that the masculine collective is kind of, has been rolling around with this Nine of Swords energy for a little bit. And what I'm picking up at the moment is a lot of that has to do with, with what's gone on um, between the counterparts, the divine, um, the, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Some of you are really dealing with the fear that you may have missed out on an opportunity, um, that things have just gone so south Oh, things have just gone so south that, um, you know, you don't think you'll ever be able to get back 
with your divine feminine um, because a lot of uh, a lot of what happened, especially with the runner chaser dynamic, was five of swords energy. Um, yes, divine masculine. A lot of you were going with your intuition, with the moon here. Um, you know, your intuition was telling you to run a little. Um, and, you know, and, and that was to facilitate healing that needs to happen between the twins. And then there's temperance here. Um, we'll get into that into a sec in a second. But, um, you know, in some other cases, there was, just, there was just some extra stuff that really didn't even need to happen. Like, at that point, it got to a point where there were certain actions taken, certain choices made by some in the divine masculine collective that were just that was just so extra it was just like why was that even necessary she's already down or the divine feminine at this point is already down you've already like knocked her down or made her feel bad or lashed out or whatever and then you're just like continually stabbing in certain ways you know like just taking little extra steps and and those extra steps um represented in this five of swords energy here was ego was ego reveling in the, the the perceived victory that you had and was like wanting to feel more and more of that energy and just kept going with it and was just in it was kind of vicious in some ways you know but now you you kind of awakened to that um the moon here is talking about a few things one it's talking about your connection with your intuition your newfound connection with your intuition which is helping illuminate all of the things um, that you're now feeling all of the things that are leading you to uh, to be um, and uh, experiencing nine of swords energy sleepless nights uh, self-fulfilling prophecies this that and the other um, the moon is also symbolizing the fact that those of you oh look and then there's a moon here in this nine of swords you see that but um for some of you the moon is symbolizing the fact that if you feel like you have missed out on an opportunity if you feel like you're never going to be able to get back to your twin that's an illusion okay um, what you need to understand about this journey is yeah what's happening is we're triggering each other so even if you're one of those individuals that made certain choices that became extremely extra and were extremely cutting and just vicious and and whatnot um that it's that's not just because you're a bad person and you were letting your ego run away with you. No, it's not necessarily that. It's because you were being triggered, just like the divine feminine was being triggered. So it's similar in situations where if you are a divine masculine and yes, yeah, some shit went down and it wasn't ideal, but then your divine feminine just like completely uh, lost her mind in some cases is what I heard. Um, understand that the, that those divine feminine individuals that quote lost their mind I guess I could be considered one of them there were some there were some days there were some certain situations where I just I literally lost it I was so triggered emotionally triggered um and just so angry and hurt that I just I lost my mind <laughs> I just lost my mind, but it was because I was being triggered. It's because there were all of these things that were happening um, all, all, seemingly all at once. So Divine Masculine, if you were in that situation too, and you were being triggered like that, and you were lashing out in ways that were, quote, extra, don't feel bad about it anymore, okay? We're all learning, we're all growing, we're all making mistakes, and we're all working on temperance, on balancing ourselves. We're all working on healing from these triggers, okay? So the illusions around you are that, number one, you haven't missed out. You haven't really lost um, an opportunity here. Yes, there are some divine feminines that have chosen to take a different route to maybe even leave the path. But understand, um, if you have a counterpart, whether you're divine feminine or divine masculine. If you have a counterpart that has chosen to take on soulmate relationships or has found a karmic relationship, one, if they found the karmic, found it, found a karmic relationship, then that need absolutely needs to happen because there are lessons that need to be learned there. There are contracts that need to be fulfilled. There are things that need to be ironed out between those two individuals to clear up space for the twins to come back together. But if they have chosen to move away from the situation in the sense of finding a soulmate, understand that that's not necessarily temporary and in many cases they're just kicking the can further down the road okay 
Um, I understand that that there are some readers out there that are saying that, you know, those of us twin flames that are on this journey in this current moment in what we, we'll call it time and space um, have incarnated in our last life here on earth. I am not sure I completely agree with that. I know personally, as I've been growing up and doing, I've always been a very spiritually oriented person, even as, even when I was a very young child. And I've always, as I grown up, I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to come back after this, guys. Like this lifetime is pretty rough. I don't know if I want to do this again. But now as I'm going through things, my desires are starting to change there. I'm starting to, as I'm growing and becoming stronger within my spirituality and becoming a stronger as an individual, I'm starting to feel like, hmm, well, maybe I could stand to do this one more round, you know? Um, so that's, I'm saying that to say some of us may come back and in some cases we'll come back with our twins and we may have another chance to do it. Now I'm not saying, oh, forget it, just wait for the next lifetime. I'm trying to give you a little bit, I'm trying to appease a little bit. Yeah. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to put a, a little more definition towards kicking the can further down the road. We're never really going to be able to escape this path. We chose this path for a specific reason. We're going to have to follow through with it at some point. Okay. So there's that. There's the overall energy starting out. Um, I don't see this five of swords for you, divine masculine. I don't see any of you as really um, actively fighting with this energy right now. What I find is that you're analyzing it. You're understanding how you have been of a five of swords mentality in your past. And it's causing a lot of you a hell of a lot of grief. And that's understandable. Especially on this ascension process, like as you wake, as you awaken spiritually divine masculine, you begin, you begin to become aware and you begin to start looking at things that you refused to look at in the past and there's going to be a lot of heartache and a lot of mental trepidation around that don't get me wrong but understand that all of the things and i say this frequently all of the things that come up and that trigger you are meant to help you heal from them okay moving forward in your first position we have your current surrounding energies and yeah this is perfect look the five of cups absolutely what were we just talking about you're you're in this nine of swords energy because you're dealing with the grief of the past you're dealing with the the, the grief of the actions that you've taken and the the things that you've said and done the ways that you've run away and the ways that you've in essence um and i say this lightly i say this because i don't really have another phrase to use so for lack of a better term i'm going to say in the ways that you've betrayed your twin and in the ways that you've betrayed yourself really 11 11 on the counter <laughs> yes i did wait for that Shh, don't worry about it <laughs> um but you're 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 starting you're finally starting to look at these things that's the point you're in this five of cups and this nine of swords energy because you're looking at the five of swords energy and you're seeing it for what it is and you're seeing how painful and how hurtful it is in some cases you're even looking back on your past and how you have learned how you have been programmed to 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 um, embody and even in some cases i'm picking up seek out five of swords lose-lose situations, extreme ego battles, because that is how you were conditioned. That is how you grew up. That's, I know in my personal experience, that has been a lot of my family dynamic. You know, there are certain people, I mean, there's a lot of strong intelligence that runs in my family and a lot of us are very aware of it. Um, and we assert it. In many cases, it has been asserted. And in many cases, it has been a five of swords energy. Well, no, I'm going to one-up you because I feel like it because I know I can. And then I, as I grew up, I became conditioned to react that way. And then I took that with me when I moved forward in my life. And, you know, I've said some things and fought some battles and I've looked back on it. And I'm like, Eric, why was that necessary? Right? It was all because of that conditioning. So, other, so there, there is another level or another layer to the illusion that's being represented by the moon for you, Divine Masculine. All of this is happening so that you can learn from it and heal from it, okay? And there's, this is something I personally am going through as a divine feminine, but also the divine feminine is, collective is going through this. And of course, you're going to experience this too because you do have feminine energies within you. But the divine feminine, me, my, myself included, in a very strong manner right now, are facing the reality of having to detach from our twin. Having to fa facing the reality and healing from the fact that, you know, we may never see them again in this lifetime. 
we have to be okay with that. And for you, divine masculine, in some cases, you have to be okay with that too. You have to be able to release the attachment. Okay. And some of you are starting to really, and especially as you, as you grow and expand on spiritually, you're feeling that attachment more and more. You're feeling that connection with your twin more and more. And in some cases it's, it's getting to a point where you're getting very attached, which is an, a, a complete opposite to what you were before, because you were conditioned to not get attached. You were conditioned to be detached from your heart. Um, but now that you're finally getting attached, you're being asked to now detach. Welcome to the journey of the divine feminine for the past six months, I'm gonna say, because that's exactly what we've been going through. And now some of you are starting to experience it. Um, but understand that it's it's serving a purpose. It is serving a purpose for you to become whole, okay? And in many cases, it's going to help you um, heal any codependent issues you have because extreme attachment is a codependency issue, okay? All right. Moving forward, in your second position, of which I'm drawing a blank on now, what is the second position? The second position is how you see, yes, your second position is how you see your twin, the Knight of Pentacles. And in this case, this is how I see Divine Masculine, you are, how you are approaching your twin, okay? You are looking at your twin and you are creating a blueprint, okay? Uh, and Divine Masculine, you've been showing up as the Knight of Pentacles for ages which makes perfect sense but the knight of pentacles is a very slow it's the slowest moving knight in the deck um the knight of pentacles is a planner is an organizer um he likes to draw up every detail every minute detail of his blueprint before he takes even one more step you know what i mean so but I, i'm gonna say in in this situation right now with what's going on with you and the collective divine masculine the knight of pentacles is the perfect way to approach this situation because it is, in fact, a very delicate situation, okay? Especially with a lot of the things that have gone on between the counterparts in this journey. You know, you got to handle this like a Fabergé egg <laughs> in many cases. But Divine Masculine, for you, your, your way of viewing this situation and your way of approaching your twin in this uh, Knight of Swords way, I'm sorry, excuse me, not not the exact opposite of the knight of swords actually it is the knight of pentacles in the knight of pentacles manner is because you are dealing with i heard a dark knight of the soul some of you are going through a dark knight of the soul right now and because of that you're you um you're being asked to or you're being at least influenced to use this time effectively in figuring out how you got here and how you can move forward in a better manner in the future how you can, what you can do to effectively approach your twin and get things going in the direction that we all know we want them to go in, okay? That's what the Knight of Pentacles is for you right now. And I think that is incredibly beneficial, incredibly beneficial. I would say really, really like, really listen to that Knight of Pentacles within you. For Earth signs, that's not going to be an issue. <laughs> okay, but for the rest of you, really, really try and connect with that Knight of Pentacles within and really try to do this planning phase justice, this analytical phase, because really you're analyzing things also right now. You're really going within and trying to figure things out from a deeper level, all right? So the Knight of Pentacles is really of great service to you right now. Next um, is how, where you are in relation to union, and you have the Wheel of Fortune, 10, Cycles ending, new cycles beginning, fate, destiny, in some cases, divine timing. I do see this card as divine timing sometimes. And yes, divine timing is absolutely a factor here. Um, you are being asked to understand that every, all is not lost. The wheel is still turning in your favor, divine masculine, even though some nasty things have gone on. Um, but also understand that completion of cycles are happening here. Okay, major life cycles too. This is a major arcana. Um, the wheel is turning. Now, depending on how you are reacting or handling this Nine of Swords energy, the wheel can either continue to turn in your favor or it can start to move backwards and some self-fulfilling prophecies can come in. Well, self-fulfilling prophecies are gonna happen either way. It just depends on how your energy is reacting to the wheel. Is it going to turn, continue to can turn and I'm sorry, is it going to continue to turn and move in your favor ever forward? Or is it going to 
get reversed and start to turn backwards and you know things are going to not be so pretty for you you have the choice you have in this situation this is one of the rare situations where i am going to say that you have a choice and you have a specific influence on how the wheel of fortune is turning that doesn't always happen a lot of the time the wheel of fortune turns and you just have to roll with it but in this situation here you do have a bit of influence and that has to do with how you handle this situation mentally are you going to continue to allow yourself to be kept up at night are you going to continue to allow yourself to um beat yourself up about this uh, uh, are you can, can, or are you going to continue to allow yourself to entertain negative thoughts surrounding this? I understand there's a lot that's being drawn up, uh, drum, drummed up, and you're having to face a lot of really nasty things, and it's breaking your heart in many cases. But you don't have to focus on it with such negative intent. Instead, focus on it with the intentions of healing from these situations, releasing these situations, moving forward from these situations, learning from them and doing better. If you approach it from that point of view, the wheel will continue to turn in your favor. But if you don't, then it will start to turn backwards and things will get nasty again and gross and, and self-fulfilling prophecies in negative manners, blah, blah, blah. All right. So the wheel of fortune is asking you to use this time wisely in moving forward towards union and that is also in moving forward towards union with yourself too not just with your twin remember temperance did come up at the bottom of the deck it's still there i'll show you it again when i finish pulling the the rest of the cards but um temperance is not just about new union with your twin temperance is also about union within yourself okay wholeness within yourself you cannot reach union if you're not whole within yourself first okay moving on uh, the fourth position, drawing a blank again. What is the fourth position, Eric? We have, <laughs> please excuse me, guys. Um, uh, we just had the, your space of how you are. Oh, got it. <laughs> your fourth position is what you want your twin to know, okay? And that's the high priestess. You want your twin to know that you are connected to your intuition and you are, you're listening. And you remember what I said about the moon here symbolizing your connection with your intuition? Look what's right next to it, the high priestess, all right? That is confirmation. You are, in fact, connected with your intuition, divine masculine. And that is, in fact, why all of these secrets, I mean, it's not like they really were secrets, to be honest, but the high priestess speaks to secrets being kept. She knows all, but she ain't telling shit. Excuse the language, but that's the truth. But now that you are connected with your, with your, with your, I was going to say divine feminine, but your divine feminine energy, and you're integrating that and you're, you're into, you're really starting to develop a stronger connection with your intuition. Now those secrets of your life that you were hiding from yourself are coming to light. And in a lot of cases, that's very hard to handle. And I really, I honestly, guys, my guys and girls of the masculine persuasion, my heart really goes out to you in this situation because you have been conditioned so much to disconnect from your heart that when you actually do connect finally with your heart and all of this, I want to cry right now, all of this stuff just comes flooding back to you. It is extremely overwhelming, especially if you don't really have a solid spiritual foundation to ground yourself in as these waves of information are hitting you. It's incredibly chaotic. I really want to cry right now. Like that is, that is so rough and my heart really goes out to you i'm sending every ounce of love and healing that i can to the divine masculine collective at this point because i mean if I, I the way i'm seeing it right now i've gone through some really extreme emotional situations in my life but nothing feels more extreme than what the divine masculine is going through right now especially in such a um well, right now in relation to this reading, and especially in such a short amount of time too, like the Divine Feminine, feminine did deal with this too, but it was over the length of months to years. The Divine Masculine is, well, no, I would say it was over the length of years. The Divine ma Masculine is doing this within weeks to months. You know what I mean? Like, more power too, you guys and girls. Hmm. All right, um, next. And your fifth position is your current mental state, um, your challenges, what you're manifesting possibly, uh, what, you know, what's on your mind. We have ah, the Hierophant. And I, oh gosh. Okay, so Divine Masculine, you're showing up in your reading. And actually, 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 we have the counterparts here. 
because um, I do believe, and I heard this theory from Mystic Moon, Angela in Mystic Moon, I think it was her, but she spoke of how um, she heard another reader talk about how, you know, there are different ways that the divine feminine and the divine masculine can show up within the Tarot deck. Um, one of them is the Empress and the Emperor. I believe that one is the most common, along with the um, King and Queen of Wands. But also, they can appear in the Hierophant and the High Priestess, and we have that right here for you, Divine Masculine. So to me, that is another confirmation that you are really, really integrating both your feminine and your masculine energies here, okay? Now, when it comes to your mental space, you are... You are showing up as the hierophant because you are really starting to, if not focus, accept spirituality. And I, in some cases, you're doing it within the function of organized religion. And if that resonates with you, I encourage you to continue to do so. Organized religion does not resonate with me personally. Um, but... I do, I do feel that it has a very, it is a stepping stone to spirituality within the human experience, okay? Um, I believe that as you move through your various lifetimes and you experience and you develop your own spirituality as a, as a soul, um, eventually you will graduate, I believe, you will graduate out of organized religion and start to take on spirituality from a more individualistic point of view, okay? But right now, for the Divine Masculine Collective, spirituality is on your mind in whatever way that happens to you or happens for you. You're either really starting to take the reins and develop your own sense of spirituality, or you're starting to take the first steps towards investigating it even in some cases. In some cases, there may be some divine masculines out there who identified as like atheists or something. And now you're starting your whole perspective in, you know, entering this twin flame journey has really changed. And so now you're really being open to more things. And that also could be influencing this nine of swords energy that my attention was just drawn to in speaking to that. Um, if you've been someone that has really been angry at God for some reason. Um, and now your whole perspective has changed and you're losing sleep over how you, and, and God has taken on a, a different perspective for you. Like a different is embodying a whole different role for you. And you're seeing, you're, you're starting to see God much differently. And then you look back on your past and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I treated you that way. That is very similar to what you're dealing with with your divine feminine. Oh my God, I can't believe I treated you that way. So you're, that's another way that the Nine of Swords energy is showing up for you, divine masculines. Understand, <laughs> I don't really have to say this because God has been saying this to you this whole time, but it's okay. I understand. I get it. I still love you. <laughs> it's okay. And in many cases, the divine feminine is saying that to you too. Baby, it's okay. I get it. <laughs> I still love you. I get it. That's a big that's a big phrase right now for you, divine masculine. That is something you really, really, really need to hear. Even if your divine feminine isn't saying it to you, even if you're not getting that vibe energetically from your divine feminine, understand, we're all saying this to you. It's okay. We get it. We understand what you're going through. We understand where you're coming out of or where you're coming out, where you're coming from, okay? Yeah, it hurt us, and yeah, it triggered us, and yeah, it, we chose to act in some really nasty and extreme ways sometimes. Yeah, yeah, okay, but we get it, and we love you, and we're sorry. We still love you, we promise. But God is also saying that to you, too. It's okay, child. I understand. I still love you. I will always love you. You will, oh man, I'm going to cry. You will always be my perfect child. Okay, I love you. It's okay. I really am starting to cry, guys. All right. <laughs> Finally, um, what is your root position? Um, underlying uh, uh, influences, things that may be hidden, things that you may not necessarily be aware of, Divine Masculine. The King of Swords. Yeah. Oh, that's so perfect. The King of Swords is really a welcome sight here. It may not seem like it right away, but the King of Swords is very much a welcome sight. I do want to say, 
um, as I was picking up some of the energy from this card, I do want to say just to be a little careful, um, really, really work on what you learned in, in, uh, in diplomacy in the past, what you learned about diplomacy in the past. Um, but the King of Swords is perfect, is the perfect energy to, to, uh, to really have on your side here because it's going to help you really get to the bottom of things in a diplomatic manner, okay? Not in a manner that's Five of Swords-ish, not, not in a manner of revenge or anything like that, but deep understanding is what's coming from, is what the Knight of, I'm sorry, the King of Swords is saying to me right now. I don't know why the Knight of Swords keeps want to show up here. Some of you, be careful of Knight of Swords energy. If you're, if you're familiar with the Tarot decks or the Tarot symbolism, um, and you understand what I'm saying, there are some of you that know exactly what I'm talking about. Be careful, because the Knight of Swords energy in this context is very much the person that goes out and puts forth the five of swords energy. Okay. Okay. That's why that's coming up. Uh, understand you some of you are starting to understand how you have been the knight of swords, um, in embodying that five of swords energy. So, okay. But if, if that's resonating with you, you understand what I'm saying. Be careful. Um, uh, evolve a little more, grow a little more, um, aspire to be a king of swords, not a knight of swords. Okay. Be diplomatic, be honorable, be authentic, be act with integrity okay respect love compassion yes but intellect is is the uh is the name of the game here is the leader all right um some of you may not be aware that you have king of swords energy at your disposal so you feel like you're the knight of cups when in, when actually you have king of so um, wow i can't speak today you feel like you're the because now the knight of cups is coming up compassion and love these messages are coming through without the cards, guys, <laughs> without the cards physically being here. But anyway, the King of Swords energy. Um, you feel like you're a Knight of Swords when really you have King of Swords energy at your disposal, okay? And especially when it comes to the Nine of Swords energy, this, this self-fulfilling prophecy is losing sleep, blah, blah, blah. You've, you've, you've got the King of Swords at your disposal. Understand that those negative thoughts are only going to hurt you more. Cut them out. You don't need those. Okay? You do not need those negative thoughts. All right? I want to pull two oracle messages. The first one, we're going to go to the unicorns for the divine masculine. And I just want to pull the best messages for the divine masculine in relation to this reading, please. Spirit, universe, unicorns. Best messages for the divine masculine, please. I'm gonna say we're gonna. I'll just ask for one card because I do want to get actually two other oracle guidances, or if that's even a word, guidances. Um, one from Crystal Mandala and one from Lightworker. Okay. I'm gonna do one more shuffle. Ooh, I'm getting a download. My third eye is activating. Guys, if you ever have like an itch in the very back of your head, like in the center in the back of your head, that's your third eye activating. Just, I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, um, there it is, got it. Action, action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take an inspired action towards your dreams, move forward with confidence. And that absolutely has everything to do with the King of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles that's happening here, okay? Your action right now, Divine Masculine, is to make the cuts and generate the plan, all right? That's your first step of action. Make the plan. Make the cuts. Do the mental work. Do the, uh, perform the mental gymnastics, as I like to call it sometimes, to understand your situation from an intellectual point of view, to understand how that will, how that translate into emotional points of view, and then create your plan to then take your physical steps, okay? You don't have to guess anymore. You don't have to be taking shots in the dark anymore. And that is what the high priestess and the moon are saying to you. You have an intuition a strong intuition at your disposal, all right? Use this moment wisely. 
understand what's going on around you, understand what's happened in your past and the actions that have been taken in the past that have led you to where you are right now. And from this standing point, from your King of Swords point of view, work with the Knight of Pentacles within you to develop your action plan so that you can start to take physical action towards reuniting with your twin and towards um, uh, achieving greater balance within yourself. Okay. Oh, wait, let me flip this back over because temperance definitely is a big part of this reading right now. Okay. Moving forward, we have messages from the Crystal Mandala deck. I'm going to ask the universe, spirit, the goddesses, um, the ascended masters, the archangels, and the crystals to give us, to please bring, uh, provide us one message for the Divine Masculine Collective in relation to this reading, please. Please, please, and so many thanks to you all. Okay, one more shuffle. One more shuffle. All right. All right, everyone. Best message for the Divine Masculine. One card, please. There it is. Okay, what have we got? Ooh, Goddess Maya and Ruby Aura Quartz. Searing Presence. Wow. I mean, first of all, look at all the pink in this. All the unconditional love that's in this card. I mean, I'm I'm seeing, I'm channeling a message right now. For those of you that have kind of been at war with God, um, this is that message of unconditional love that was coming through me before when I started crying, <laughs> talking about everything is okay. You are a divine child of God, and you always have access to unconditional love. And what this is, I do want to pull, read from the book just to make sure I'm not missing any message. But what I'm feeling right now from this card, this searing presence, the searing presence of God, these the the, the undeniably strong and powerful unconditional love from God will burn through any obstacle, any blockage, any barrier that stands in your way, that stands in the way of your connection with yourself, of your connection with God, and of your connection with your path that you chose to walk here in whatever form of existence that you take. But the only way that can happen is if you choose to allow it to. The moment you allow God's unconditional love to pour into you is that moment that everything will flow for you. You just have to let it, all right? Let me just go to the book here and make sure I'm not missing anything because I feel like this is a really powerful message. And that honestly, that really is a very strong message for those of you that have really have been at war with God over your lifetime, okay? Um... This is number 49, 49, ooh, card number 13. I'm sorry, card number 49 boils down to a 13, which boils down to a four, which is um, stability. Definitely, solid foundation, which is resonating accurately for me. I just can't put it into words. It just, that just, yeah, that just makes sense. <laughs> All right, um, <clears throat> we bring you the empowerment of searing presence. This empowerment enables you to see truth unveiled naked divinity in all of its beauty and mystery. In your willingness to become present, you shall witness the truth that will set your spirit free and make your heart come alive with divine love. No lie, deception, fear, or agenda remains hidden in searing presence. Searing presence the ruthless compassion of which distills pure truth. With this empowering, you are going to see what you need to see. You are going to be able to see the truth that there is only ever love seeking to free, heal, and discover itself. You will feel the grace that permeates your life and assists all beings. All impatience, doubt, uncertainty, and confusion shall give way, becoming soft like wax melted by a lit candle, and only the beautiful light of truth shall remain. So this is also obviously a message to the Divine Masculine Collective because you are going through this moment of seeing the truth behind a lot of what has gone on with you and your twin lately, yeah? Um, I mean, yeah, that's exactly what's happening for you right now. And understand that unconditional love is always there. So even though you're seeing 
the burning, blazing truth of what's been going on in your life as over your lifetime in this incarnation, and also over this twin flame journey between you and your divine counterpart, it may suck, it may be painful, it may it may be the most heart wrenching thing you will ever you feel you'll ever experience in your life, but there is love here, and be, and you are being you are receiving a gift because you're seeing things as they truly are. And because of that, now you can move forward and change things, change the course of your life, change the course of your relationships moving forward. You no longer have to be a fall victim or be, in, be trapped by these cycles, by these circumstances. You now are forearmed and can make better decisions as you move forward. And that is the unconditional love of, and grace of God right then and there. Yeah. Finally, I do want to pull a light worker oracle card. I know when I first started this channel, I said I was going to do that with every weekly reading and then that kind of fell off. I just remembered that. So I do want to bring that back, at least just for this reading. I feel like it's very fitting. So let's do this. This is a very strong message. There's a really, a lot of, oops, um, ooh, I've got friends, guys. <laughs> Sorry, that was my phone. Um, but I feel like uh, some guidance from the Lightworker Oracle deck can really be helpful in this moment. So I'm going to ask the Spirit for one message for the Divine Masculine Collective, best message for the Divine Mas Masculine Collective in relation to this reading. I am being drawn to this high priestess card. It's buried under a bunch of stuff, so I'm not going to pull it out. But it is a, nomen, a Roman numeral two, which also looks like an 11. Um, and I'm being, ooh, I'm going to try that one more time. I'm being reminded with 11 here, I'm being reminded that, um, you know, we do create our realities with our thoughts. And we all, no matter what is going on right now for you, for any of us, divine masculine or divine feminine, um, no matter what's going on, everything is going to work out just fine. But it's just a reminder to try and work on keeping our thoughts as positive as possible, yes? So best message for the Divine Masculine Collective in relation to this reading right now. Just one card, please, Spirit. Best Aha, there it is. And we have... Paradigm shift. Ooh, card number four. Look at that. I was just talking about number four. Stability, foundation. Now, paradigm shift to me is talking about. You see, you see how that door is opening there. There's a brand. There's some new. Oh, I mean, literally, there is no better phrase for it. Paradigm shift. The tables are turning, guys. All of this information that we're getting, this 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 new insight that we're getting. I, and this goes for the divine feminine too, because as things shift for the masculine, things always also shift for the feminine. We are mirrors, right? I mean, I want to say something about this, but I don't. It's like there are no other words. This is just reassurance from this, from from spirit that things are changing, but they're changing for the better. And doors are opening because of this, okay? But I, I'm just, to be safe, I'm going to read from the book because I just don't want to miss anything. You are undergoing radical growth in your belief systems. There it is. <laughs> now is the time to challenge old attitudes and question previous expectations. You are in an extraordinary time. Great leaps forward can be made in a moment. The world you thought you knew can suddenly break open and a new world can become your reality. And that last phrase, the sudden breaking opening of a new reality for you is why I feel like this the woman on this card is kind of like, oh, oh shit, what's happening? Like, look, she's kind of scared, right? Divine Masculine, I totally see. Some of you are kind of like shaking in your boots a little bit just because you're like, what, what is about to happen? What is going on? Things are changing at a really rapid rate. I don't even know who I am anymore. I don't know what... I don't even know about my surroundings anymore. Like, am I even, do I even really want to be here anymore? Like, what is all of this stuff? You know what I mean? Paradigm shifts are happening, but the shifts are happening for the greatest good of your individual self. And ultimately for the twin 
flame union and ultimately for the world because as we grow and heal so too do others grow and heal and then we're all in a better chance to bring more light and love to the world yeah all right divine masculine so there you have it i hope that was helpful for you like i said in the beginning please reach out um we would all of us divine feminines would really love to hear from you um yeah We'd love for you to be a part of the conversation. Honestly, we really would because we want to hear things from your point of view. Okay. Speak for yourselves, stand up for yourselves. Tell us what's going on. Help us understand your life from your point of view. I mean, you, you've got all, you've got a, just a plethora of, of divine feminines out here telling our stories, you know, giving you our points of view. It's only fair that you do the same for yourself, right? We want to hear from you. We love you. Okay. All right. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next week. Or I'll see you in your private reading. Hey, hey how about that? <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So um, while I was doing the Divine Masculine reading, this is just a little a little bonus thing. While I was doing the Divine Masculine reading, I, I part of me was like, look, at, look and see what's underneath temperance there, right? But I didn't do it. I just moved forward with the, with the reading and I didn't do it. But then after the reading, I was like, hmm, what is under there? <laughs> Death. <laughs> and then the last card that we got from the, um, the Lightworker Oracle deck is Paradigm Shift. I mean, think, look, death is happening. Transformations are happening. And I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Ah, King of Pentacles. Okay, one more, one more, one more, one more. Six of Cups. This is good. This is really good, Divine Masculine. Don't be afraid, all right? Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Love you guys. Bye.